With these can-do videos, you'll see real-life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in Chinese. This video is a small portion of our can-do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. 大家好,我是李英如. Hi everyone, Yinru Li here. In this lesson, you will learn how to make small talk about the weather. This is Karen Lee. She meets Chen Chen Zhou, her neighbor, and starts a conversation by saying, It's really hot today. Listen to the conversation and focus on Karen's comment. Ready? Once more with the English translation. It's really hot today. Yeah, really hot. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Karen says, It's really hot today. First is, Today. 今天, Next is, 真, really or truly. 真, 真. After that is, 热, hot. 热, 热. All together it's, 今天真热. Literally, today, really hot. But it translates as, it's really hot today. Note when describing something in Chinese, you can think of the adverb as linking the subject and adjective. In this sentence, the adverb Zhen acts as a linking word for the subject Zhen and the adjective. Re. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how the neighbor says, Yeah, really hot? First is 是, translating as yes in this context. 是, 是. Next is 啊, the modal particle, which here adds emphasis to the response. 啊, 啊. Together, 是啊, translates as a colloquial and emphatic yeah or yes, in this context. 是啊. After that, Chen Chen repeats, 真热. Really hot. 真热. Altogether, it's, 是啊, 真热. Yeah, really hot. 是啊, 真热. The pattern is 今天真, weather related adjective. It's really weather related adjective today. 今天真, weather related adjective. To use this pattern, simply replace weather related adjective 
with another weather-related adjective. Imagine it's cold. Long, long, long. Say, it's really cold today. Ready? It's really cold today. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Tianjinlanghuo Did you notice I used a different pattern? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our Can Do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. The weather is really nice. First is Weather. Next is Really. After that is Good or Nice. Altogether, it's Literally, weather really nice. But it translates as the weather is really nice. This pattern is weather related adjective. The weather is really weather related adjective. Weather related objective. Let's review the key vocabulary. Warm. Cool. Weather. Good. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me. Focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say hot? Rua. Rua. And how to say really? Zhen. Zhen. And do you remember how Karen Lee says, it's really hot today? Do you remember how to emphatically say yeah? 是啊, 是啊. Do you remember how Chen Chen Zhou says 
Yeah, really hot. Do you remember how to say cold? Lung. Lung. And how to say warm? Nuanhua. Nuanhua. Do you remember how to say weather? Tianqi. Tianqi. And how to say nice? Hao. Hao. Let's practice. Imagine your Jen Chen. Comment to Karen on how cold it is today. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try another. Imagine your Mark Lee. Comment to your neighbor on how warm it is today. Ready? 今天真暖和。是啊,真暖和。Listen again and repeat. 今天真暖和。今天真暖和。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Ben Lee. Comment to your classmate on the really nice weather. Ready? 天气真好。是啊,真好。Listen again and repeat. 天气真好。天气真好。this is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our can-do course. Now you know how to give an opinion about the weather in Chinese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. 大家好,我是李英如. Hi everyone, Yinru Li here. In this lesson, you will learn how to talk about the weather in Chinese. This is Karen Li, and she's in rainy Beijing. She's on a long-distance call with Xiao Yunxu, her former homestay mother. Xiao Yunxu asks, How's the weather? 天气怎么样? Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? 天气怎么样? 在下雨. Once more with the English translation. 天气怎么样? How's the weather? 在下雨. It's raining. 天气怎么样? Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Xiao Yun Shu asks, How's the weather? Tian 
天气怎么样 ？First is 天气 weather 天气天气 Next is 怎么样 ？How is in this context? As in how is the weather? 怎么样？怎么样 ？Together. 天气怎么样 ？Literally, weather how is, but translates as how is the weather. 天气怎么样 ？Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Karen says it's raining? First is, 在 which literally means at. However, when 在 is followed by a verb, it indicates the progressive tense, describing an ongoing action. 在在 Here, 在 is followed by 下雨 which means to rain. 下雨 It can be divided into two parts. First is 下 to come down in this context. 下下 Next is 雨 rain. 雨雨 Together 下雨 to rain. 下雨 Altogether. 在下雨 Translates as it's raining. 在下雨 The pattern is 在 weather related verb. It's weather related verb ing. 在 weather related verb. To use this pattern. Simply replace weather-related verb with a verb phrase to describe what is going on with current weather conditions. Imagine you're in Harbin, and it's snowing. 下雪，下雪，下雪。Say it's snowing. Ready? It's snowing. When using 怎么样 to ask how something is in Chinese, the pattern is subject plus 怎么样 In the conversation, 天气 the subject plus 怎么样天气怎么样 How's the weather? Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. 在下雨，在下雨，在下雪，在下雪，在出太阳，在出太阳。在刮风，在刮风。今天在下雨，今天在下雨。Did you notice I added the word 今天 <coughs> 今天在下雨。It's raining today. First is 今天 today. 今天今天 Next is 在 when 在 is followed by a verb. It's like the ing as in raining. 在 After this is 下雨 to rain. 下雨 Together, 在下雨 It is raining. 在下雨
Note, the it is not used in Chinese. Altogether, 今天在下雨. Translating as, it's raining today. 今天在下雨. 今天在下雨. Let's try another. Imagine it's snowing today. 今天在下雪. It's snowing today. 今天在下雪. Let's review the key vocabulary and phrases. 出. To come out. 出. 出. 太阳. Sun. 太阳. 太阳. 出太阳. Sun comes out. 出太阳. 下, to go down. 下, 下. 雪, snow. 雪, 雪. 下雪, to snow. 下, 雪, 下雪. 刮, to blow. 刮, 刮. 刮风, wind blows. 刮风, 刮风. 今天, today. 今天, 今天. That's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say to rain? 下雨. 下雨. Do you remember how Karen Lee says, It's raining. Zai Xia Yu Do you remember how to say weather? Tian Chi Tian Chi Do you remember how Xiao Yun Xu asks How's the weather? Tian Chi Zemayang 天气怎么样? Do you remember how to say to snow? 下雪, 下雪. And how to say sun comes out? 出太阳, 出太阳. Do you remember how to say today? 今天, 今天 Let's practice. Imagine you're Jengju in Harbin where it's snowing. Respond to the question. Ready? 天气怎么样? 在下雪 Listen again and repeat. 在下雪 在下雪 Let's try another. Imagine you're Xiao Yun Shu in Guangzhou, where the sun is out. Ready? 天气怎么样? 再出太阳 Listen again and repeat 
再出太阳。再出太阳。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Karen Lee, and it's raining today. Ready? 天气怎么样？今天在下雨。Listen again and repeat. 今天在下雨。今天在下雨。This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to give an opinion about the weather in Chinese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. 大家好，我是李嫣如。Hi everyone, I'm Yinru Li. In this lesson, you will learn how to ask for clarification. This is Sasha Li, and she meets her neighbor Huo Ran Huang for the first time in the lobby of their building. Huo Ran Huang introduces himself by saying. Hello, my name is Hao Ran Huang. 你好，我叫黄浩然。Sasha can't catch his name and asks for clarification. Listen to the conversation and focus on Sasha's request. Ready? 你好，我叫黄浩然。不好意思，请再说一遍。请说慢一点。黄，浩，然。Once more with the English translation. 你好，我叫黄浩然。Hello, my name is Hao Ron Huang. 不好意思，请再说一遍。请说慢一点。Sorry, please say it one more time. Please say it slowly. 黄，浩，然。黄，浩，然。Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Hao Ran introduces himself? Hello. 我叫黄浩然。First is， 你好。Meaning hello。你好，你好。When meeting someone for the first time, you often start with， 你好。It can be used in both formal and informal situations. Next is， 我叫黄浩然。My name is Hao Ran Huang。我。叫黄浩然，我叫黄浩然。First is 我 I 我我。Next is 叫 meaning to be called in this context. 叫叫。Together 我叫 literally means I'm called, but translates as, "My name is." 我叫，我叫。Next is the neighbor's full name. 黄浩然。First is his family name. 黄
followed by his given name. Hao Ran. For Chinese names, the order is family name followed by given names. Altogether, it's. Ni Hao. Wo Jiao Huang Hao Ran. Hello, my name is Hao Ran Huang. Ni Hao. Wo Jiao Huang Hao Ran. Sasha can't catch his name. Do you remember how she asks? Sorry, please say it one more time. Please say it slowly. First is, 不好意思, which literally means to be embarrassed, but it translates as Sorry, in this context. Next is, 请再说一遍. Please say it one more time. 请再说一遍. This has several parts. First is, 请, Please. 请, 请, after this is 在, again. 在, 在. Next is 说, say, as in please say it again. 说, 说. Last is 一遍, meaning one time. 一遍, 一遍. Altogether, 请再说一遍, literally means please again say one time, but it translates as please say it one more time. 请再说一遍, the last part of Sasha's response is 请说慢一点, please say it slowly. First is 请, please. 请, Next is 说, say. 说, After that is 慢, slow. 慢, 慢. And finally, 一点儿, meaning a little. 一点儿, 一点儿. Pronunciation note. People in the north part of China tend to pronounce this as yi diar yi diar combining man with yi diar man yi diar means slow down a bit or slowly man yi diar man yi diar altogether it's 请说慢一点 Literally, please say slow a little, but translates as please say it slowly. 请说慢一点 Sasha's whole response is 不好意思,请再说一遍,请说慢一点 不好意思,请再说一遍,请说慢一点 Finally, Hao Ran replies by stating his name again. Huang Hao Ran. Huang Hao Ran. Let's look at the expressions once more. Listen and repeat. 不好意思。不好意思，请再说一遍。请再说一遍。请说慢一点。请说慢一点。不好意思，请再说一遍。不好意思，请再说一遍。不好意思，请再说一遍。
不好意思，请再说一遍，请说慢一点。不好意思，请再说一遍，请说慢一点。能再说一遍吗？能再说一遍吗？ Did you notice how I used a different expression? Can you say it one more time? Can you say it one more time? Can you say it one more time? This request starts with "can," meaning "can," as in "to be able." Can, can. And it ends with "ma," the question marking particle, indicating question. Ma, nong, ma. Sentence pattern is used to make a polite request. Note the answer to a ma question should confirm or negate the verb. In this case, yes, you can, or no, you can't. Between nong. And ma is what we've learned earlier. 再说一遍 Say it one more time. 再说一遍 Together. 能再说一遍吗 Can you say it one more time? Or could you say it one more time? 能再说一遍吗 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say sorry? 不好意思，不好意思。And how to say one time? 一遍。一遍 Do you remember how to say to say? 说说 And how to say again? 再再 Do you remember how to say please? 请请 Do you remember how Sasha Lee says, "Sorry, please say it one more time." Do you remember how to say slow? 慢 Man, and how to say a little? 一点一点 Do you remember how to say slowly? 慢一点慢一点 Do you remember how Sasha asks? Please say it slowly. 请说慢一点。请说慢一点。Do you remember how to say hello? 你好。你好。Do you remember how Hao Ran introduces himself? 你好，我叫黄浩然。你好，我叫黄浩然。Let's practice. Imagine you're Ben Lee. Hao Ran introduces himself, but you can't catch his name. Start with "sorry" and ask him to please say it again. 
Ready? 你好,我叫黄浩然. Listen again and repeat. 不好意思,请再说一遍. Let's try another. Imagine you're Hauran. Ask Karen Lee to say it slowly. Start with sorry. Ready? 你好,我叫凯伦里. 不好意思。Listen again and repeat. 不好意思,请说慢一点。Let's try one more. Imagine your how run. Ask Sasha Lee to say it again and to say it slowly. Start with sorry. Ready? 你好,我叫萨莎里。不好意思,请再说一遍。请说慢一点。Listen again and repeat. 不好意思。请说慢一点。不好意思,请再说一遍。请说慢一点。This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to ask for a clarification in Chinese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. 大家好,我是李英如。Hi everyone, I'm Yin Ru Li. In this lesson, you will learn how to ask what a word is in Chinese. This is Ben Li, and he's at a cafe doing a language exchange with his classmate, Lu Liu. It's the Chinese portion of their language exchange, and he points at the textbook and asks, How do you say textbook in Chinese? Textbook, yong zhong wen, zhen shuo? Listen to the conversation and focus on the question. Ready? Textbook, yong zhong wen, zhen me shuo? Once more with the English translation. Textbook, yong zhong wen, zhen me shuo? How do you say textbook in Chinese? Kerben. Textbook. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Ben asks, How do you say textbook in Chinese? Textbook, yong zhong wen, zhen me shuo? First is the English word textbook. Next is, yong, to use. 
Yong Yong After that is Chung Chinese as in the Chinese language or writing. Chung Wen Chung Wen Together Yong Chung Wen Using Chinese or in more natural English in Chinese. Yong Chung Wen Next is Zemma meaning how Zemma Zemma Last is Shuo to say Shuo Shuo Together Zemma Shuo Literally how to say but translating as how do you say Zemma Shuo All together Textbook Yong Chung Wen Zemashuo Literally Textbook using Chinese how to say. But it translates as How do you say textbook in Chinese? Textbook Yong Chung Wen Zemashuo Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Lu tells Ben the Chinese word for textbook? Kerben Textbook Kerben Kerben The pattern is English word Yong Chung Wen How do you say English word in Chinese? English word Yong Chung Wen To use this question pattern, simply replace the English word placeholder with the word you want to know. Imagine you want to know the Chinese word for pen. Ask, how do you say pen in Chinese? Ready? Pen Yong Chung Wen how do you say pen in Chinese? Pen Yong Chung Wen When you don't know how to call something in Chinese and you want to keep the conversation in Chinese, you can point and say, How do you say this in Chinese? Simply replace the English word with 这个, meaning this. 这个这个这个用中文怎么说? How do you say this in Chinese? 这个用中文怎么说? If the thing is far away from you, use 那个 that 那个 那个 那个用中文怎么说? How do you say that in Chinese? 那个用中文怎么说? Pronunciation note. There are two ways to pronounce this and that in Chinese. For this, 这个 or 这个 For that, 那个 or 那个 这个 and are used more often in colloquial speech. Keeping the conversation in Chinese as long as possible is a great tactic to learn Chinese. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Textbook Yong Chung Wen Textbook Yong Chung Wen Pen Yong Chung Wen B Pen Yong Chung Wen Jaga Yong Chung Wen Zamasho Jaga Yong Chung Wen
，那个用中文怎么说？铅笔。那个用中文怎么说？这个的中文是什么？是课本。这个的中文是什么 ？Did you notice I use a different pattern? This Chinese pattern is what? What's this in Chinese? First is this. This. Next is the possessive marking particle. The, the, the. After that is, Chinese, Chinese language. Chinese. Together, literally means the Chinese of this, but translates as the Chinese for this. Chinese. Next is. 是 Here, think of it like the is, as in the Chinese for this is. 是是 Last is. 什么 What? 什么什么 Altogether. 这个的中文是什么 Literally, the Chinese of this is what, but it translates as. What's this in Chinese? This What's this in Chinese? This This is a very useful pattern for using Chinese to learn Chinese. You should be aware of this pattern, but you won't need it for this lesson. Let's review the key vocabulary. B. Pen. B. B. Quiz. Chopsticks. Quiz. Quiz. Pen. Pencil. Pen. 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 这个 ，this， 这个，这个，那个 ，that， 那个，那个。Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me. Focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say to say? 说说 And how to say how to? 怎么怎么 Do you remember how to say Chinese? 中文，中文 ，and how to say to use? 用，用。Do you remember how Ben says? How do you say textbook in Chinese? 用中文怎么说 ？Textbook 用中文怎么说 ？Do you remember the word for textbook? 课本，课本。And how to say this? 这个。这个 
Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen Lee, and you're having a language exchange lunch with Chermin Chao. Ask, how do you say chopsticks in Chinese? Ready? Chopsticks. 用中文怎么说？筷子。Listen again and repeat. Chopsticks. 用中文怎么说？ Chopsticks. 用中文怎么说 ？Now you want to know the word for pen in Chinese. Ready? Pen. 用中文怎么说？笔。Listen again and repeat. Pen 用中文怎么说 ？Pen 用中文怎么说 ？Let's try one more. Imagine you're Sasha Lee, and you're studying with a classmate. Point to a nearby pencil, and ask how to say this in Chinese. Ready? This Listen again and repeat. This is. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to ask how you say something in Chinese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. Welcome to Can Do Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. 嗨，大家好，我是林英如。Hi everyone, I'm Yin Ru Li. In this lesson, you will learn how to ask for something at a grocery store. This is Ben Li, and he's at a small grocery store. After finding something he likes, he points and says, "Give me that, please." 请给我那个。Listen to the conversation. Focus on Ben's request. Ready? 请给我那个。好，给您。Once more with the English translation. 请给我那个。Give me that, please. 好，给您。Okay, here you go. Let's take a closer look at how Ben asks for item without knowing its name. Do you remember how Ben Lee says, "Give me that, please"? First is, please. Here, it's a polite word used at the beginning of a request. Next is, 给我 give me. 给我 First is, 给 to give. 
给，给。After that is, 我 Translating as me in this context. 我，我。Together, the first part of the sentence is, 请给我。Please give me. 请给我。Pronunciation note: When there are three third tones in a row. The first two change to the second tone. Listen to the pronunciation again. 请给我，请给我。Last is 那个 Translating as that. 那个，那个 Translation note: 那个 could also translate as that one, as the second character is 个 Which is a universal measure word. Ge, ge. Pronunciation note: Ne can be pronounced as na or ne, ne is more colloquial and what is used here. Altogether, Qing gei wo ne ge. Literally, please give me that, or in more natural English, give me that, please. 请给我那个。Do you remember how the shopkeeper says, "Okay, here you go"? <音声>好，给您。First is, 好 literally good, but translates as, "Okay" in this context. 好，好。Next is. 给您 Translating as "Here you go." 给您给您 First is 给 to give. 给 Next is 您 the polite form of you. 您您 As the clerk is talking to a customer, he uses 您 To show respect. In more casual cases, you may hear the more colloquial form of "you." 你 Together, 给您 literally means "give you," but in this case, it translates as "here you go." 给您 Altogether, the clerk responds with, 好，给您 Okay, here you go. 好，给您。The pattern is. 请给我 item. Give me item, please. 请给我 item. To use this pattern, simply replace the item placeholder with the thing you want. Imagine you'd like some water. 水。水，水。Say, give me some water, please. Ready? Give me some water, please. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. 请给我那个。请给我那个。请给我水。请给我水。请给我水和香蕉。请给我水和香蕉。请给我这个。请给我这个。我要水，谢谢。我要水，谢谢。Did you notice how I used a different pattern? 
我要水,谢谢. Literally, I want water, thanks. But translating as, I'd like some water, thanks. 我要水,谢谢. First is, 我. Translating as, I, in this context. 我. Next is, 要. To want. 要. 要. Last is, 水. Water. 水. Finally, to make the request sound more polite, is, 谢谢. Thanks. 谢谢. Altogether, it's, 我要水,谢谢. In Chinese, pointing at something and using the pattern I want is not considered rude. Actually, it's pretty common and colloquial. However, adding a 谢谢. thanks at the end of your request definitely makes the request more polite, as in the example. 我要水,谢谢. I'd like some water, thanks. Let's review the key words. 水 Water 水, 水 香蕉, Banana 香蕉, 香蕉 这个, This 这个, 这个 和, and 和, 和 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say that? 那个, 那个. And how to say me? 我, 我. Do you remember how to say to give? 给, 给. Do you remember how Ben Lee says, Give me that, please? Do you remember how the clerk says, Okay? 好, 好. And the polite way to say you. 您, 您. Do you remember how the clerk says, Okay, here you go. How Do you remember how to say water? Shui Shui And how to say this Jiga Jiga Let's practice. Imagine you're Ben, and you're at the grocery store. Ask for some water. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try another. You see an item on the counter. 
but you don't know the name for it. Point and ask for this. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Karen, and you see a cake you want to buy in the showcase behind the counter. Point and ask for that. Ready? Listen again and repeat. This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. Review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes. And test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to ask for something at a grocery store in Chinese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson. With these can-do videos, you'll see real-life situations where you have to introduce yourself, talk about your family, or give your contact information. So, by the end, you can do them yourself in Chinese. This video is a small portion of our can-do course. To get the full course, including translations, grammar tools, and assessment tests, click the link in the description. Welcome to Can Do Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. Hi, everyone, I'm Yin Ru Li. In this lesson, you will learn how to ask if a store has something. This is Sasha Li. She's at a small grocery store and she wants to buy some salt. She gets the clerk's attention and says, Hello, is there any salt? 你好,有盐吗? Listen to the conversation. Focus on Sasha's question. Ready? 你好,有盐吗? 有,在这里. Once more with the English translation. 你好,有盐吗? Hello, is there any salt? 有,在这里. Yes, it's here. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. 1. Read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. 2. Practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And 3. Take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Sasha asks, Hello, is there any salt? First is 你好 Hello 你好 你好 In this case, the speaker uses this greeting to get the clerk's attention. Next is 
有 Translating as, there is in this case. 有有 Translation note. 有 can also translate as to have. After that is, 盐 salt. 盐盐 Together, 有盐 literally means there is salt. Last is the question marker. 妈妈妈妈 turns a statement into a yes or no question. Together, 有盐吗 Literally, there is salt, but translates as, is there any salt? 有盐吗 Translation note: This phrase can also translate as, "Do you have any salt?" Altogether, 你好，有盐吗 ？Hello, is there any salt? 你好，有盐吗 ？Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how the clerk says, "Yes, it's here." The first part of the response is, "Yo," which translates as "yes" in this context, as it answers the yes or no question containing the verb. "Yo," "Yo," "Yema," "Is there any salt?" "Yo," "Yes," "There is salt." To answer a yes or no question in Chinese, always echo the verb or adjective. That's used in the question. In this case, 有 After this is, 在这里 Translating as, it's here. 在这里在这里 This phrase has two parts. First is, 在 meaning at. It's used to locate things in this context. 在在 Next is, 这里 here. 这里这里 Together, 在这里 literally means at here, but translates as, it's here. 在这里 Note the subject is omitted as it's understood in the context. Altogether, 有在这里 Yes, it's here. 有，在这里。The pattern is. 你好，有 item 吗 ？Hello, is there any item? 你好，有 item 吗？ To use this pattern, simply replace item with something else you're looking for. Imagine you're looking for milk. 牛奶，牛奶，牛奶 Say, "Hello, is there any milk?" Ready? <phone rings> 你好，有牛奶吗？ Hello, is there any milk? 你好，有牛奶吗 ？Besides using 你好 another polite way to get someone's attention and start a question is to use 请问。请问 literally means please ask, but translates as may I ask or excuse me. When asking a question, 请问，请问 For example, 请问有盐吗 Excuse me, is there any salt? In most cases, Chinese doesn't make a distinction between singular and plural nouns. You will use the same pattern when you're looking for salt, an apple, or a dozen apples. For example. 有苹果吗 Can translate as, 
Are there any apples? Or is there an apple? Depending on the context, the English translation may alternate between singular and plural, but the Chinese pattern remains the same. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. 你好，有盐吗？你好，有盐吗？你好，有牛奶吗？你好，有牛奶吗？你好，有苹果吗？你好，有苹果吗？你好，有酱油吗？你好，有酱油吗？你好，有没有糖？你好，有没有糖 ？Did you notice how I used a different pattern? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. One, read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool, so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. Two, practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And three, take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Hello, is there any sugar? The speaker uses means have or not have, or There is or there isn't in this context. 有没有 First is 有 There is 有 Next is 没有 There isn't 没有 Together 有没有 There is or there isn't 有没有 Note for this 有没有 Pattern. You don't need the question marker. Ma. At the end of the question. After that is. 糖 Sugar. 糖糖 Altogether. 你好，有没有糖 Literally, hello. Is there or isn't there any sugar? But translates as, hello, is there any sugar? 你好，有没有糖 The pattern is. 你好，有没有 item? Hello, is there item? You should be aware of this, but for this lesson, you won't need it. 牛奶 Milk. 牛奶牛奶 Apple. Apple. Soy sauce. Sugar. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say hello? 你好，你好 And how to say the question marking particle? 妈
吗 ？Do you remember how to say salt? 盐，盐。Do you remember how Sasha Lee asks, "Hello, is there any salt?" 你好，有盐吗？你好，有盐吗 ？Do you remember how to say here? 这里，这里。Do you remember how the clerk says, "Yes, it's here"? 有，在这里。有，在这里。Do you remember how to say apple? 苹果，苹果。And how to say soy sauce? 酱油，酱油。Do you remember how to say sugar? 糖，糖。Let's practice. Imagine you're Sasha Lee, and you're at the grocery store. Get the shopkeeper's attention and ask if there is any sugar. Ready? Hello. Is there sugar? There. In here. Listen again and repeat. 你好，有糖吗？你好，有糖吗 ？Now ask if there is any soy sauce. Ready? 你好，有酱油吗？有，在这里。Listen again and repeat. 你好，有酱油吗？你好，有酱油吗 ？Let's try one more. Imagine you're Ben Lee. Ask if there are any apples. Ready? 你好，有苹果吗？有，在这里。Listen again and repeat. 你好，有苹果吗？ Welcome to Can Do Chinese by ChineseClass101.com. 大家好，我是李音如。Hi everyone, I'm Yin Ru Li. In this lesson, you will learn how to order at a restaurant. This is Mark Li. And he's at a restaurant with his wife. Mark says to the waiter, "Waiter, I'd like some water. Thanks." 服务员，我要水，谢谢。Listen to the conversation, and focus on Mark's request. Ready? 服务员，我要水，谢谢。好，马上来。Once more with the English translation. 服务员，我要水，谢谢。Waiter, I'd like some water, thanks. 好，马上来。Okay, coming right away.
let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Mark asks for water? Waiter, I'd like some water, thanks. First is meaning waiter or waitress, depending on the context. In this case, Mark Lee is calling Han Hu. So, will translate as waiter. Next is I. After that is would like in this context. Translation note can also translate as to want. We'll use would like for this conversation. Next is water. Last is thanks. Altogether, Waiter, I'd like some water. Thanks. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember the waiter's response? Okay, coming right away. First is Okay, in this context. It's used to show agreement with the speaker's request. The second part of the response is It can be divided into two parts. First is Right away or immediately. Ma Shang Ma Shang Next is Lai to come Lai Lai Together Ma Shang Lai literally means right away come, but translates as coming right away. Ma Shang Lai Altogether Hao Ma Shang Lai Okay, coming right away. 好,马上来。The pattern is 我要item,谢谢。I'd like item, thanks. 我要item,谢谢。to use this pattern, simply replace the item placeholder with the object you are requesting. Imagine you'd like some coffee. 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 Say, I'd like some coffee, thanks. Ready? I'd like some coffee, thanks. 我要咖啡,谢谢。Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 我要水,谢谢。我要水,谢谢。我要咖啡,谢谢。我要咖啡,谢谢。我要炒饭,谢谢。我要炒饭,谢谢。我要菜单,谢谢。
我要菜单，谢谢。我要一个勺子。我要一个勺子。Did you notice I used a different pattern? 我要一个勺子。I'd like a spoon. First is 我 I 我 After that is 要 Would like 要 Let's move to the end of the sentence. 勺子 Spoon 勺子勺子 Before this is 一个 meaning one of something. 一个一个 In this case, 一个勺子 one spoon. 一个勺子一个 has two parts. First is the number one. 一一一 After that is the general measure word. 个个个 In Chinese, you'll need a measure word after the number and before the noun when talking about a certain number of things. The measure word varies depending on the type of object. For this lesson, we'll use the general measure word. 个 Together, 一个 One of something. 一个，一个。Pronunciation note: When e is followed by a fourth tone, it changes from the first tone to the second tone. Listen to the pronunciation again. 一个，一个。Altogether, 我要一个勺子。I'd like one spoon, but in more natural English, I'd like a spoon. 我要一个勺子。Let's review the new words. 咖啡 Coffee. 咖啡咖啡。炒饭 Fried rice. 炒饭炒饭。菜单 Menu. 菜单菜单勺子 Spoon. 勺子勺子 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say waiter or waitress? 服务员服务员 And how to say water? 水水 Do you remember how to say I? 我我 And how to say thanks? 谢谢谢谢 Do you remember how Mark says, "Waiter, I'd like some water. Thanks." 服务员，我要水，谢谢。服务员，我要水，谢谢。Do you remember how to say "come"? 来，来。And how to say "coming right away"? 马上来，马上来。Do you remember how the waiter says, "Okay, 
coming right away. How Do you remember how to say coffee? Cafe. Cafe. And how to say fried rice? Chao fan. Chao fan. Do you remember how to say menu? Cai dan. Cai dan. Let's practice. Imagine you're Karen Lee, and you're at a restaurant. Get the waiter's attention and order a coffee. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try another. Ask the waiter for some fried rice. Ready? Listen again and repeat. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Mark Lee, and you'd like a menu. Ready? Listen again and repeat. In this lesson, we used Fu Yuan to get the waiter's attention. It's not rude to address waiters or waitresses this way, although it may be considered old fashioned. Another polite way to get the waiter's attention is simply to say Ni hao. Hello. Ni hao. For example, if you're ready for the bill, you can start with Ni hao, then add Mai dan, bill, together. Ni hao, mai dan. It literally means hello buying the bill, but translates as hello, bill please. Ni hao, mai dan. Hi everyone, I'm Yan Ru Li. In this lesson, you learn how to order two or more of something while pointing. This is Karen Lee, and she's waiting in line at a coffee shop with her husband. The barista turns to Karen and says, What would you like? Listen to the conversation and focus on Karen's response. Ready? Once more with the English translation. What would you like? Two of these. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how the waiter says, 
What would you like? First is Nin. the formal you when addressing people of higher social status, such as seniors and customers. Nin. Nin. Next is Yao. to want or to need, but translating as would like in this context. Yao. Yao. After that is Shemma. What? Shemma. Shemma. Together, Shemma. Literally, you want what? But translates as What would you like? Shemma. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Karen says two of these? First is Liang Two. This way of saying the number two is used before a measure word. Liang Liang Next is Fen A measure word meaning serving or order. Fen Fen Together Liang Fen Two orders. Liang fen. After that is Jaga. This. Jaga. Jaga. Pronunciation note. Jaga. Can be pronounced as Jaga. Or Jaga. Jaga. Is more common in everyday speech. Altogether, two orders of these, but in more natural English, two of these. Note this pattern is the shortened form of I would like two of these. I. After that is Yao would like in this context. Yao The speaker omits Wa Yao as it is understood from the conversation. The pattern is Number Fen Jaga Number of these Number Fen Jaga To use this pattern, simply replace the number placeholder with the number of items you're requesting. Imagine you'd like three of something you don't know the Chinese word for. Three San 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 Say three of these. Ready? Sanfen Jurka. Three of these. Sanfen Jurka. When talking about a specific number of things in Chinese, not only do you need a number, but also a major word before the noun. For example, in our dialogue, we use the number liang, two, plus the major word fen, order, before the item. In Chinese, there are hundreds of major words for different types of things. A good major word to start with for beginners is ge, which is a general major word that goes with almost everything. For example, yi ge mian bao. One piece of bread, liang ge xiang jiao, two bananas, or san ge zhe ge, three of these.
Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. 两份这个 did you notice how I used a different pattern? I would like two of these and one of these. First is Yao a shortened form of Wo Yao I'd like Yao The speaker omitted the subject Wo I and used only the verb Yao would like Yao Liang Fen Jiga I'd like two of these Yao Liang Fen Jiga When pointing out multiple items you can join them with the conjunction he, meaning and. He, he. Pronunciation note. When e, one is followed by a fourth tone, it changes to the second tone. E, such as yifen, yifen. Here is the variation pattern. Yao number fen jiga he number fen jiga I'd like number of these and number of these You should be aware of this pattern but you won't need it for this lesson Let's review the key vocabulary si. 4 Si, si, san, three, san, san, e, one, e, e, let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say the major word for order or serving? Fen. Fen. And how to say two orders of something? Liang fen. Liang Fen. And do you remember how Karen Lee says, two of these? Liang Fen Jiga. Liang Fen Jiga. Do you remember how to say what? Shama Shama And the polite way to say you Nian Nian Do you remember how the waiter says what would you like? Ning Yao Shama 您要什么? Do you remember how to say three? San, San, and how to say four? S, 
四四。Do you remember how to say one? 一一。Let's practice. Imagine you're Ben Lee, and you're at the coffee shop with two friends. Order three of these. Ready? 您要什么？ Listen again and repeat. Let's try another. Imagine you're Sasha Lee, and you're at the coffee shop with three friends. Order for four people. Ready? 您要什么？四份这个。Listen again and repeat. 四份这个。四份这个。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Mark Lee, and you're by yourself. Order one of something by saying, "One of these." Ready? 您要什么？一份这个。Listen again and repeat. 一份这个，一份这个。大家好，我是李嫣如。Hi everyone, I'm Yan Ru Li. In this lesson, you will learn how to ask how much something costs. This is Ben Li, and he's shopping at a small grocery store. He sees a snack with no visible price tag. And asks, "How much is this?" This how much? Listen to the conversation. Focus on Ben's question. Ready? This how much? Two dollars. Once more with the English translation. This how much? Two dollars. How much is this? Two dollars. Too quiet. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Ben asks, "How much is this?" This how much? Ben's question starts with, "This, this, this word can be divided into two parts. First is, this, this. Pronunciation note: this can be pronounced as this or this, this is more common in everyday speech." Next is, ge, which is a universal measure word. Ge, ge. Together, this means this one, or this. This, this. While this can translate as this one or this, for this lesson we'll use. This. After that is, 多少钱 meaning how much money. 多少钱 The first part is, 多少 how many or how much in this context. 多
少，多少。Note the literal meaning of the Chinese characters: 多 many, and 少 few. So you could think of it like a lot or a little money, but it translates as how much. 多少 Next is 钱 money. 钱钱 Together, 多少钱 means how much money or how much. 多少钱 Altogether. 这个多少钱 literally means this how much money, but translates as how much is this. 这个多少钱 Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how the shop clerk says, "Too quiet"? Two quiet. First is two. Two is used to say two when followed by a measure word. Two. Two. Next is "quiet," which literally means chunk or piece, but is also used as a unit for Chinese money in colloquial speech. "Quiet," "quiet." Together, "two quiet" means "two quiet." "Two quiet." Note: At the time of this lesson, "two quiet" buys a bottle of water. The pattern is. Item, 多少钱 How much is item? Item, 多少钱 To use this pattern, simply replace the item placeholder with the thing you'd like to know the price of. Imagine you'd like to know the price of a coffee. 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 Ask. How much is a coffee? Ready? Coffee, 多少钱 How much is a coffee? Coffee, 多少钱 There are two ways to say the number two. When used to represent the number two, such as in counting. Or a phone number, the number two is pronounced as r. For example, 一二三四五 When used to express quantity, use 两 plus a measure word to say two of something. For example, 两块 two 块两个蛋糕 two cakes 两杯咖啡 two cups of coffee. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. This how much? This how much? Coffee how much? Coffee how much? Coffee how much? Cake how much? 蛋糕多少钱？那个多少钱？那个多少钱？多少钱？多少钱 ？Did you notice how I omitted 这个？ How much? When you're asking how much something is, and it's understood what you're speaking about. For example, when asking by pointing at something, you can omit the subject. The pattern is. 多少钱 You should be aware of this pattern, but for this lesson, 
We'll use the sentence pattern. Item, 多少钱 How much is item? Let's review the new words. Coffee. 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 Cake. Dan go. Dan go. Nega. That. Nega. Nega. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say money? 钱钱 And how to say how much? 多少多少 Do you remember how Ben Lee asks, "How much is this?" This how much money? This how much money? Do you remember how to say "two" when it's followed by a major word? Two. 两 Do you remember how the clerk says, "Two kuai"? Two kuai. Two kuai. Do you remember how to say coffee? Coffee. Coffee. And how to say cake? 蛋糕蛋糕 Do you remember how to say that? 那个那个 Let's practice. Imagine you're Ben, and you're at a farmer's market. Where many items have no price tag, you'd like to try a snack close to the listener. Ask the price using the word for that. Ready? That 多少钱？五块。Listen again and repeat. 那个多少钱？那个多少钱 ？Let's try another. Imagine they're also selling artisan coffee. Ask for the price of a coffee. Ready? 咖啡多少钱？十块。Listen again and repeat. 咖啡多少钱？咖啡多少钱 ？Let's try one more. Ask for the price of a cake. Ready? 蛋糕多少钱？八块。Listen again and repeat. 蛋糕多少钱？蛋糕多少钱？大家好，我是李嫣如。Hi everyone, I'm Yin Ru Li. In this lesson, you will learn how to give your email address. This is Karen Lee, 
and she's at City Hall registering her address. The civil servant who is helping her asks, What is your email address? Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? Once more with the English translation. 您的邮箱地址是什么? What is your email address? 我的邮箱地址是 K-A-R-E-N at inolan.com My email address is K-A-R-E-N at inolang.com Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how the civil servant asks, What is your email address? First is, 您的 Your 您的 This starts with 您 You, when using formal Chinese. 您 您, 您 is often used to show respect to a person, such as a senior citizen or a customer. 您 Now, you might be more familiar with 你 meaning you. 你 As this is a city office setting, the speaker chooses to use the more formal 您 Next is 的 The possessive marking particle. 的 的 Think of 的 as a way to indicate possession. The word it follows possesses the thing that comes after it. In this sentence, it marks 您 You as the possessor. Together it's 您的 A formal way to say your. 您的 Next is 邮箱地址 Email address 邮箱地址 邮箱地址 There are two parts to this. First is 邮箱 Literally, mailbox, but it refers to the electronic mailbox in this context. 邮箱 邮箱 Next is 地址 Address 地址 地址 Together it's 邮箱地址 Email address 邮箱地址 Remember this because you'll see it again in Karen's response. Next is 是 In this case, it's like the is in What is your email address? 是, 是. Last is 什么? What? 什么? 什么? Altogether, it's 您的邮箱地址是什么? This literally means your email address is what, but translates as what is your email address? 您的邮箱地址是什么? Remember this request. You'll hear it again later. Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Karen says, My email address is karen at inolang.com. R-E-N at inolan.com First is 我的 My 我的 This starts with 我 
I. 我我 After this is the the possessive marking particle. The together it's 我的 my 我的 Next, do you remember the word for email address? Email address. Together. My email address. Next is. 是 Here it's like the is in my email address is. 是 Next is Karen's email address. K A R E N I T Inolan Dian Kam. First is the name Karen spelled out. K A R E N. Next is the at sign, usually pronounced as I T I T. Next is Inolang. Most Chinese people would pronounce it as In No Lan. Inolan. After that is Dian. Dot. Dian. Dian. Note in North China, people tend to put an er sound after the final syllable of many words. So in a northern accent, Dian would be pronounced as Diar. Last is com, usually pronounced as Kamu. Kamu. Together, Karen's email address is K A R E N I T Inolan Dian Kamu. Altogether, it's my email address is karen at inolang.com. My email address is karen The pattern is email address. My email address is email address. email address. To use this pattern, simply replace the email address placeholder with your email address. Imagine your email address is L I P I N G I T Inolan Dian Kamu Say My email address is L I P I N G at Inolang dot com. Ready? My email address is lipping at inolang dot com. My email N G I T in low land. Dian Kam. In China, Mandarin is often referred to as Pu Tonghua, meaning common dialect or common tongue. 
and almost everyone in China speaks it. Apart from this common dialect, there are over 200 local dialects in China. People from different parts of China are likely to have a variety of accents when speaking Mandarin and foreign languages. The way English letters and words are pronounced in this lesson may be different depending on where the speaker is from. When having difficulty understanding someone in Chinese or English, such as when getting someone's email address, it's better to double check with the person you're speaking with to make sure you understood correctly. Let's look at some more examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. My address is K A R E N at yinnolan.com. My address is L I P I N G at yinnolan.com. 我的邮箱地址是 b e n at inoland com. 我的邮箱地址是 l i n at inoland com. 我的电子邮箱是 y l at inoland com. Did you notice how I gave my email address? My email address is yl at inolang.com. Instead of the speaker said which literally means electronic mailbox, but translates as email. The pattern is email address. My email is email address. Email address. This can be shortened even further. Y L Inoland.com The entire first part My email is is omitted here because it's clear from the context the speaker is giving their email. This is the shortest answer to a request to get your email address. You should be aware of this sentence pattern, but for this lesson, we use the pattern Email address. My email address is email address. Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud. Then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say come? Kamu. Kamu. And how to say dot com. Dian kamu. Dian kamu. Do you remember how to say inolan dot com? Inolan dian kamu. Inolan dian kamu. Do you remember how to say the at sign? At. At. And how to spell Karen? K A R E N. K A R E N. Do you remember how to say email address? 邮箱地址 
邮箱地址 and how to say my email address. 我的邮箱地址。我的邮箱地址。Do you remember how Karen says my email address is Karen at Inoline dot com? My address is K A R E N at inoline com. My address is K A R E N at inoline com. Do you remember how to say what? 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 And the formal way to say your. 您的，您的。Do you remember the formal way to say your email address? 您的邮箱地址，您的邮箱地址。Do you remember how the civil servant asks? What is your email address? Your email address is what? Your email address is what? Let's practice. Imagine you're Mark Lee. And your email address is m a r k i t inolan dot com. Respond to the civil servant's request. Ready? 您的邮箱地址是什么？我的邮箱地址是 m a r k at inolan dot com. Listen again and repeat. 我的邮箱地址是 m a r k at inolan dot com. My address is m a r k at inolan dot com. Let's try another. Imagine you're Sasha. S a s h a. Ready? Your address is what? 我的邮箱地址是 s a s h a at inolan dot com. Listen again and repeat. 我的邮箱地址是 s a s h a at inolan dot com. My address is s a s h a at inolan dot com. Let's try one more. Imagine you're Hai Tao. H a i t a o. Ready? 您的邮箱地址是什么 
我的邮箱地址是 h a i t a o at inolan dot com. Listen again and repeat. 我的邮箱地址是 h a i t a o at inolan dot com. My address is h a i t a o at inolan dot com. 大家好，我是李嫣如。Hi everyone, I'm Yan Ru Li. In this lesson, you'll learn how to talk about your hobbies in Chinese. This is Howran Huang. He's talking to his neighbor Jason Shu in the lobby. They're having a conversation, and Howran asks, "What do you like to do?" 你喜欢做什么 Listen to the conversation and focus on the response. Ready? 你喜欢做什么我喜欢钓鱼 Once more with the English translation. 你喜欢做什么 What do you like to do? 我喜欢钓鱼。I like to fish. Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. One, read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool, so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. Two, practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear. You can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And three, take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our Can Do course. Just click the link in the description to get them. Let's take a closer look at the conversation. Do you remember how Hao Ran Huang asks, "What do you like to do?" First is, 你 you, 你你 Next is, 喜欢 like, as in you like. 喜欢喜欢 After this is, 做 To do. 做做 Last is 什么 Meaning what? 什么什么 Altogether. 你喜欢做什么 Literally, you like to do what? But it translates as, what do you like to do? 你喜欢做什么 Let's take a closer look at the response. Do you remember how Jason Shu says, "I like to fish"? 我喜欢钓鱼 First is. 我 I. 我 Next is, 喜欢 like, as in I like. 喜欢 Last is, 钓鱼 to fish. 钓鱼钓鱼 Altogether, 我喜欢钓鱼 I like to fish. 我喜欢钓鱼 The pattern is. 我喜欢 activity. I like activity. 我喜欢 activity. 
To use this pattern, simply replace the verb placeholder with an activity you like to do. Imagine you like to swim. 游泳，游泳，游泳。Say, I like to swim. Ready? I like to swim. I This pattern can also be used with verb phrases. 我喜欢 activity. For example, to play basketball, 打篮球 First is 打 To play in this context, 打打篮球 basketball. 篮球，篮球，打篮球。To play basketball. 打篮球。我喜欢打篮球。I like to play basketball. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat, or speak along with the native speakers. 我喜欢钓鱼。我喜欢钓鱼。我喜欢游泳。我喜欢游泳。我喜欢打篮球。我喜欢打篮球。我喜欢旅游。我喜欢旅游。我爱做饭。我爱做饭。Did you notice how the last speaker uses a different pattern? Wondering how you can master these conversations even faster? Here's how. One, read along. You get the lesson conversation and translations inside our dialogue tool, so that you see each word as you hear it and understand it all. Two, practice speaking. By shadowing what you hear, you can also record and compare yourself with native speakers with our voice recording tools. And three, take our assessment tests and see how much you remember. These tools are part of our CanDo course. Just click the link in the description to get them. I love cooking. First is, 我 I 我 Next is, 爱 Love. I. I. Last is. 做饭 To cook. 做饭做饭 Altogether. 我爱做饭 I love cooking. 我爱做饭 This pattern is. 我爱 Activity. I love activity. 我爱 activity. You should be aware of this, but for this lesson, we'll use the pattern. 我喜欢 activity. I like activity. 我喜欢 activity. Let's review the new words. 打篮球 To play basketball. 打篮球打篮球旅游 To travel. 旅游旅游
游泳 To swim. 游泳游泳 Let's review. Respond to the prompts by speaking aloud, then repeat after me, focusing on pronunciation. Ready? Do you remember how to say to fish? 钓鱼钓鱼 And how to say I? 我我 Do you remember how Jason Xu says, "I like to fish"? I like fishing. Do you remember how to say what? 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 And how to say to do? Do. Do. Do you remember how to say you? Ni, ni. Do you remember how Hao Ren Huang asks, "What do you like to do?" Ni xi huan zuo shen ma? Ni xi huan zuo shen ma? Do you remember how to say to swim? 游泳，游泳 ，and how to say to play basketball？ 打篮球，打篮球。Do you remember how to say to travel？ 旅游，旅游。Let's practice. Imagine you're Hao Ran Huang, and you like to play basketball. Respond to the question. Ready? 你喜欢做什么？我喜欢打篮球。Listen again and repeat. 我喜欢打篮球。我喜欢打篮球。Let's try another. Imagine you're Yi Yang, and you like to travel. Ready? 你喜欢做什么？我喜欢旅游。Listen again and repeat. 我喜欢旅游。我喜欢旅游。Let's try one more. Imagine you're Wei Wang, and you like to swim. Ready? 你喜欢做什么？我喜欢游泳。Listen again and repeat. 我喜欢游泳。我喜欢游泳。This is the end of this lesson. Now, here's what you can do to cement this conversation in your head. Review the conversation with our dialogue tool and lesson transcripts. Study the key words and phrases with our spaced repetition flashcards. 
review the key grammar and cultural tips inside the lesson notes, and test yourself with our assessment tests. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to access our CanDo course. Now you know how to talk about your hobbies in Chinese. That's all there is to it. Keep practicing and move on to the next lesson.